Yeah, we can hear you. Yay. How's it going? Good. How are you? I'm doing well, Smitty. Good to see you again. Or hear you again. Yeah, good to see you. All right. Um, so where do we... So your bodily autonomy argument, right? Um, I mean, I, I have comprehensive arguments. I'd hate to say I'm like a single topic debater. Well, okay. what's, what's your stance? Uh, it depends what we are, are arguing. So, uh, Dante, make abortion illegal. Okay. So, what context would qualify abortion to be made illegal? The unjust killing of a human being. Okay. Mm. So, would it be based on rights then? Yeah. So, Kenzie, do you believe you and I have rights? Yeah. So, when does that begin for you? Birth. Birth. Okay. What's so special about birth? You have actualized your potential. Actualized. So, when do you actualize your potential? When you are not connected to the mother anymore or when you're outside the womb? When you prove your viability. Okay, and when does do you prove your viability? When you are not connected to the mother anymore or when you're just magically outside the womb? When you're able to su- ex- sustain your existence without the help of your host. Okay, so that's the umbilical cord, right? Uh, not necessarily because... Um... So what, what is it about? Is it the location or is it the physical attachment? Um, it's essentially proving that their entire system can sustain and they no longer need a host as life support. And how do they do that? Is it a physical attachment? So it's a physical attachment then, because you said birth. And the only thing that makes sense with your argument is the physical attachment. Okay. Okay, so therefore you can kill a child outside the womb that's still connected to the umbilical cord that's crying and kicking at that point because it's... Because, yeah, it doesn't have rights under your framework. It's still connected to the umbilical cord. It's crying. Well, actually, that's not correct because the placenta has actually started to detach from the uterus and the umbilical cord no longer works. No, it's not attached. The umbilical cord still works. It doesn't. No, I'm telling you right now that's false. I've looked it up. Um, No, that's that's incorrect. Because why why, why can they cut it then? Why why can they cut it if it still works? That's why they clamp the umbilical cord because it stops the nutrients from sending. So um, that hope. What happens hope... after you give birth to a baby, Schmitty? What happens after you give birth to a baby? Yeah. What do you mean? What happens after it? it's outside the womb? It's um... right. What happens next? What does the mother have to do? She has to clip the uh, clamp the umbilical cord and clip it. Well, no, the doctor does that. What does the mother have to do after the baby's born? Yeah, so there's a there's like a second birth, right? So then she births out the placenta. Right. Yeah, but it's still connected to her. Until she no, births it, it detaches. It. No, no, no. It doesn't detach. It's still connected to her. Um, when that child's outside of the womb, that placenta is still in the mother. It's still connected to the mother, which is connected to the child. So that umbilical cord is still connected to the mother when that child is outside the womb. I don't know what you're reading, but that's facts. So under your framework, that child does not have rights if it's um, when it's outside the womb because it's so connected to the mother. No, it's not using the umbilical cord, Schmitty. It's using its lungs. No, it's not. Not no, it's not. So what you're really, saying it's, it's not breathing. So wait, Kenny. So now you just move the goalposts. No, so it's no, I didn't. I just asked you, is it breathing? So when it takes its first breath, it has the right to life. I'm just asking you, Schmitty. No, I'm trying why to are you your... always, Why are you answering? Why are you always asking a question after I ask you a question? Because you're moving the goalposts. It does breathe. I'm not I'll moving answer. the goalposts. I'm saying that birth. You you want a specific finish line, no, and no, you're no. doing this so that you can come up with your batshit crazy analogies. Because I'm just well, waiting for it. Don't be. Ins- why are you insulting? I didn't insult you. You don't be rude. What did I uh, insult you for? You said just. <laughs> you just said batshit crazy analogies. But, um, I insulted your analogies, not you. I think you're lovely, Schmitty. Okay, thank you. But you just you're moved. Welcome. So you're saying, yeah, it breathes outside the womb. So does that child get right. uh, life once it breathes? Once it takes its first breath? Um, I hate to bring it down to a singular aspect, but sure. 
Sure. Okay. So a mother sees this in law. She sees that um, the right to life is when it's um, when that child takes its first breath. So if a mother, um, let's say, I'd like to go back to the rights argument up, first up, before up, we proceed. Me, don't don't interrupt me. So let's say this Ooh, mother. Oh, little her, boss beat tonight. I know. Well, I don't want you. Uh, let me finish. I know I your mementos in the comments. You got to impress, right? So. Let's say this mother, she gives birth, um, she fills up this bathtub and gives birth underwater. Does that child not have the right to life? Uh, no, they do. Why? It, is, it hasn't taken its first breath. Um, because it's underwater? Well, how would it die if it stayed underwater, Schmitty? Well, the mother could strangle it or something. Right, so they would deny it oxygen? Yeah, they're denying it oxygen. Right. So, so put it underwater. Or, so or they right. or they would drown it. Yeah, no, I'm just asking you. Let's see if, if you're it drowned, here. Schmitty. If it drowned, how did it drown? No, she can strangle it, right? She can strangle it. It hasn't taken its first breath. Well, here, yet. Here's that bat shit crazy analogy. Okay. Tell me no. why Kenzie, women Kenzie, Kenzie, are whoa, giving whoa, birth. I just, I won't oh wait, you no, you're interrupting analogy. Schmitty. I thought no, no, I thought we weren't allowed to do let, that. I'm not gonna let you not answer my analogy. Does that child have the right to life? It hasn't taken its first breath. A child born underwater in a bathtub. Does it have the right to yeah, life? Yes. It has. Yes. It has the right to life, Schmitty. Why? Because it's been born. Oh my God. You're moving the goalposts so much. I'm not. You just said breath. You just said umbilical cord earlier. Now you're just saying Schmitty, it's born. How so do we, about being born? What, what is, when do we get rights? Right now, in today's society. No, 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 no. Um, I'm no, asking no, you I'm a question. You See, this is your strategy, is you're just trying to in, in, uh, no, give me an inquisition. Smitty, just be quiet for a fucking second, dude. Like, <laughs> I can tell you've been training with Tyler because you're just trying to bully, you're just trying to interrupt, and you're just trying to ins insult. If you're going to be bad faith, though, and not answer my question. Oh, and now here post. we go. Bad faith trigger. No, here's what you guys are doing. You're trying to essentially push people into one topic or one point ideas so that you can try and break logic or say you're moving the goalpost when we are actually talking about real life scenarios. Like, come on, Schmitty, you are this fully aware so that in today... Debate. That in today's society, we grant rights when someone is born. Is that correct? Okay, so you're basing off the legal system? Is that so correct? I'm asking you a question. Is that yeah. correct? Uh, in America, based off the legal system, yeah. And that's just because something's legal doesn't mean it's right. Great. Right. I'm not fallacy. saying that because it's illegal, that because it's a right. So are women now like drowning or strangling their kids in water and claiming that oh this child didn't have rights are, are the topics that you are bringing up like are these real life issues Angie, this is a philosophical debate i can give you i know but i'm just asking you is this a real life talking point bring in aliens i can bring in superheroes all right if it breaks your logic oh i would like to have a discussion based in reality because that right there that's what you said that is your goal that is your number one goal to break my logic and you guys can give any specific qualifier to try and achieve that goal why because it's the only way you quote unquote win that's what you guys are trying to do is just trying to fucking win no, if it breaks your logic, you, your your logic is clearly flawed, or your stance is clearly flawed. No, you can so, give any you can give any batshit crazy analogy and give enough qualifiers to where you will eventually break someone's logic. No, you can't. No, no, and no. And that's no. and that's your guys' strategy. It it absolutely is. Because Kenzie, then then have... why don't you try and having a debate that is based in reality, just just for shits and giggles. You have moved the goalposts like three times already. See, you said, I just said uh, so uh, much uh, shit, and you're not even fucking listening, Schmitty. No, I am listening, but you're clearly moving the goalposts, and you're not admitting that. You said the umbilical cord at first, but then you said breath. I didn't say the umbilical cord. I said birth, Schmitty. You are, again, here's what you're trying to do. You not you're trying birth? to give me one specific thing so that I can give you a batshit crazy analogy. <laughs> Like, come the fuck on, dude. Why don't you try having a conversation in reality? Like, I'm not going to handle this bullshit from you guys anymore. Bro. No. That was so
Oh my god, that was sick, Tony. Yeah. Um. So I broke your logic. You move the goalpost, Kenzie. Um. You got to get a better stance, and then. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck did you break, Schmitty? Because you moved the goalpost. You brought up <laughs> women strangling babies in bathtubs you... and like, oh, Kenzie lost. Give did... me the dubs, like small dick vibes, bro. Small dick Ken... vibes. Did you not say breath? Did you not say rights begin that first breath? I said birth. You did no. We and got... you want you want a specific point. So again, like I'm literally Stop telling you your strategy because the first answer I gave you, you didn't like. No, you moved the goalpost like three times. That's three... Oh, moving the goalpost, breaking your logic. Like, come on, Schmitty. Let's talk come about on. rights. Let's talk about rights. You want to do yeah. that? Earth, what's so special? And you want to have birth? a discussion based in reality, or do you want to talk you... like talk Earth. about the creative ways you and Tyler think about fucking killing babies at night? What's so special about birth? I told you, people they actualize their potential. How do they actualize their potential? They prove that they can live outside the womb. Okay, how? Is that by like going through the uh, the canal, the uh, vaginal canal, or the birth canal, or is that like... No, phys- they essentially establish that the entire bodily system is able to survive without a host. They can breathe through their lungs, their heart is beating, their liver is processing, the entire bodily system. And when does that happen? Does that happen at the cutting of the vocal cord or, or the first breath? It happens at birth. Typically, first breath is the basis of it, but, you know, every birth is different. I've had friends who have given birth to blue babies with the umbilical cord wrapped around their neck. No, say, do they need every single one of those or do they need some? Like, what? what's the qualifiers for you to have the right to life? Is it just breath? Is it the umbilical cord? I told you, they actualize their potential for life and show that they are able to sustain their life outside the womb. And when are they? Why do you need? Why do you need one specific thing to happen? But when are they? That sounds super. Let me ask you, Smitty. What? What's the same question? Tell me. Tell me when something is earning deserving of rights. I'm gonna let you move the move the argument. I'm I'm not moving the argument. I'm asking you to answer your own damn question. No, no, no. You still haven't answered my. No, I'm done testifying because again, this is a part of your strategy. So let's actually have a conversation. And why don't you answer the question? Kenzie, you have no solid stance. You can't answer my question because you have I no... I have answered your question. You just don't like my answers no. because you want, again, something specific so that you can just give a batshit create. Like, I've, I've said this over and over and over again. You Why actually... don't you just answer my question? Why oh. is it so hard? When do you actualize it? I told you, when you're born. Schmitty, oh. tell me, when oh. does a fetus get rights? What is so special about birth? Tell me, when does a fetus get rights? I told you, they actualize their potential and show that they can sustain themselves outside the womb. Do Do you know what viability is? Do you know what viability is? They actualize their viability. Is it that cutting the umbilical cord? Do you know what viability is? I've already told you that the umbilical cord at birth isn't working. It is. Would you like to write it down? You are just wrong. It is <laughs> It is not working because they are breathing out of their lungs. Yeah, no. Up until that umbilical uh, cord is clamped, that's when it stops. I don't know why you don't get this. What, when does the fetus get right, Schmitty? All right. Since you're not going to answer me, um, I'll, I'll answer you, but I'll just say that you conceded. Um, so <clears throat> a fetus gets raised right at conception. Yeah. Is, is that, is that what really is important to you here? Are you just like, do yeah. you really need to frame these debates so that, oh, you conceded, oh, you refuse to answer because you're, you're for like you need dubs? Like, are you really here to have an intelligent conversation or are you here to play a fucking game? Cause it, it feels like you're just here to play a fucking game, bro. Popo, so you're you're clearly not you're clearly not here to have a, a good conversation no i'm pushing back on this bat shit crazy strategy that i see so many of you fucking doing because it's bullshit no no this is us breaking your logic in a philosophical debate and exactly this- you just want to give all these crazy qualifiers in because I want analogies that are not even real world applicable to break logic because that's the only way you win. 
Kenzie, I you just, can't have uh, an actual conversation to establish why a fetus is deserving of rights. That's why as soon as I came in here, I was asking Dante questions and you just start attack, 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 attack. Because you're advocating for killing children and your arguments are- I am advocating for women's rights. Do not try and now virtue signal and tell me that you're a good person and you're here fighting for the unborn because you're fucking not. You're here you're, to you take want... dubs, to break logic. Like you aren't here out of a genuine compassion or empathy for people. Killing children. So that's disgusting. It's not a child, Schmitty. Okay. Why isn't it a child? To find child. Child, unborn fetus, uh, per, like a. No. Nope. Un... Bio yeah. Biology defines a child as a born person. Uh, Tyler, you want to switch with me? <laughs> I guarantee Kenzie. I will don't debate Tyler. Come on, I don't like. I don't know how many times I have to set this fucking boundary. Because you you lot you lose against Tyler's. So that's what it I is. I don't lose against Tyler. Jesus Christ! It's because you know he he's your daddy, Schmitty. Like he's telling you how to do all this shit. Dante, I already I already clapped her. Let Tyler in. Get up too. All right. Oh shit! Wait, Mike. Uh, I. My... Oh damn! Yeah, I'm sorry. I. I. Yeah, I'll be happy to talk about rights. So, uh, so yeah. So, what do you want to discuss? I don't want to discuss anything with you, Tyler. You know, I don't debate you. Well, yeah, I know that you've been shit on by me twice already, but I'm I'm fine to go. Oh, like a third please time. give me a break. The I'm first fine fucking to, I'm time. I'm fine to go a third time. See, Tyler, I got same stamina. shit. Same I got stamina much. like that, Kenzie. You I got and stamina Schmitty like are that. I can go a third oh, time. please. You're a fucking incel one on one. I can go a third um, time. I can you go a third and Schmitty are a dime a dozen. Like, see, again, hey, this is what so why, you're, why do you you're have coming rights? up here just like, I've already beat your ass. I'm just going to beat your ass again. Like, why? Are you so insecure that this is what you need to get on TikTok and just bully and harass women? Why Kenzie, are you so you are obsessed leave, with me? No one is, no one is I will. You. I will. Thank you, Tyler. No Appreciate it. <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Woo. Well, I'll tell you, man. That's why, that's why Kenzie is C tier. That's why <laughs> Kenzie is a C tier pro choicer. Yo, when I release my, when I release my part two tomorrow, for the tier list of pro choices, you know she's gonna be in C tier. Smitty clapped them cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did you hear how she kept calling like Schmitty? Yeah. <laughs> yo, yo, she's gotta be moved down to D tier after that. I she mean, she might her. have to go. I don't know. She might. I, I mean, moved, so bad. Faith. She moved the goalpost so fast, man. It was bro, insane. and she's so bad faith, bro. Bro, you clapped them cheeks, man. You, oh, yeah, but yo, 100%. yo, I take back all the things of saying that you were a virgin, man. You definitely clapped them cheeks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want to lose my B card to Kenzie. That's kind of <laughs> yo, oh my god, yo, she was making fun of your 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 wee wee, man. Did you see that small small D energy? That was messed hey, up, man. Hey, you know small. How's she gonna talk gang. about that, yo? Small have you seen her pro? Yo, Smitty, did you see her profile pic? Dude, I try not to look at that. Bro, you know, no, but hold on. You know she don't look like that, right? No. You know she don't look nothing. Yo, who are those dudes from Catfish? Who's like, somebody call up that dude from Catfish, man. This is <laughs> an episode. This is an episode. She the biggest catfish on this app. Wait, that wait, shit is not her. Hold up. That profile pic is not her. Did she not, did she not say that rights begin at first breath or am I wrong? She said that rights begin when you're born and then you said physical uh, attachment. Then she said yes. Then you said, okay, you can kill it when they're. Um, while the umbilical cord is there, she goes, "Oh, you're crazy, crazy hypotheticals. Here come the crazy hypotheticals." And then I think then she said something about breath, and then you're like, "Okay, well then, can I go ahead and like drown it?" And then she's like, "Oh, some more crazy hypotheticals. <laughs> when does this ever happen in real life? This doesn't ever happen in real life." That was great. That was great. Yeah, she got clapped. That was quick. Yeah, I saw her, I saw her in the request, and I'm like, you know what? I just want to show her. That um, she's just advocating for killing children. So, that's wild. I just wanted to come up here just to see if she would run, which she did. 
Um, she ran pretty quick, but um, cool. All right. Well, hey, I'm Tony. Good. Tony, I appreciate you so much, man. Tony is the awesome. man, boy. That was sick. That was sick. Tony is the man, but um, that was cool. All right, Dante. All right, Dante. I'm-